Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I'm going to tell you about this Chinese X99 motherboard. And this motherboard is the Qin X99 Q4, but on AliExpress you can find it under many different names, such as Klisre, Atermeter or Atermeter, or Erin, and sometimes even Machinist. The official name of the motherboard is X99 G629A. But for simplicity, I'm just going to call it X99 QD4 because it is a clone of Huanangqi X99 QD4 motherboard. The motherboard uses desktop chipsets such as B85, Q87 or Z87. We also have full quad-channel memory configuration and lots of connectivity. PCI Express X16, X4, two M.2 slots for NVMe SSDs and an extra M.2 slot for Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapters. Of course, we also have a few SATA and USB ports, so the motherboard will be interesting for those who are looking for a tight package on a budget where you can pack your motherboard into a micro ADX chassis with lots of connectivity. Just like any other Chinese no-name motherboard, this one doesn't really have anything in the BIOS. So the stock BIOS does not have RAM timings, it does not have overclocking capabilities, it does not have a resizable bar. But since the motherboard is a clone of Huanangji X99 QD4, we can use any other BIOS that's compatible with the Huanangji version. In my case, I have used my modified BIOS for X99 ATEM F from Huanangji, and that BIOS has unlocked RAM timings configuration, I have also injected resizable bar support, and it is possible to pick different modifications if you need Turbo Boost Unlock. So all in all, for you, you can just use my Mi 899 application, flash the desired BIOS, and enjoy. Additionally, though, I have also tested commercial BIOS from BIOS i Engineer, developed for a Machinist X99 RS9 motherboard. According to him, these two motherboards are almost identical and the BIOS shall be compatible. Compared to the Huanangji BIOS, this commercial BIOS from iEngineer boots up much faster, it does not support legacy CSM configuration, only modern UEFI, and what's important, it enables overclocking of unlocked CPUs using Intel XTU from Windows. Unfortunately though, testing with my i7-5820K, even though I can adjust its settings using Intel XTU, the clock frequency doesn't stick. After about 30-60 seconds of stress test, my i7-5820K drops its frequency back to 3.6 GHz and stays there. I have tried multiple different options, I have also consulted a BIOS i engineer, and we were not able to solve the problem. It could be that the motherboard is not fully compatible with that BIOS, but it also could be that there are some other unknown factors which I could not identify. So even though overclocking options are enabled in Intel XTU and it is possible to adjust them, the overclocking is not really working with i7-5820K with this particular motherboard. And speaking about 5820K, this CPU has only 28 PCI Express lanes, and just like any other Chinese X99 motherboard, this Chiyida X99 QD4 has wrong PCI Express routing. This means that the PCI Express X16 slot works as X8, and only the last PCI Express lanes are connected, which means that graphics cards that have X4 or X8 connectivity are not detected. For example, RTX 4060, RX 6600 or RX 7600 are not detected with i7-5820K. Additionally, PCI Express X4 slot is also disabled, so all in all, from 28 available lanes we have only 16. 8 for the PCI Express X16 slot and 4 for each of the M.2 slots. This limitation is pretty annoying, but it is not a disaster because most of you will use a Xeon CPU that has all 40 PCI Express lanes and then everything works as it should. A part of the overclocking issues, Chiyida X99 QD4 comes with all set of the Chinese defects, and that means that sleep mode doesn't work, temperature and power consumption sensors are wrong, and the smart fan works with just one fan header, the main one for the CPU cooler, and only if you connect a 4-pin PWM fan. If you connect 3-pin fan, then the fan will be rotating at 100% speed. Unfortunately, these issues are not resolved with the BIOS from iEngineer either, because these are hardware defects. One extra issue was detected with the audio codec. If you use the default Windows driver, the audio works just fine, the sound quality is okay. 
But in my case, I also need the audio mixer to output audio in two devices simultaneously. For example, when I do game recording, I want to hear audio in my headset, but I also want to send it to my video capture card. So the game recording is with the sound. I cannot use sound from the video capture card because it has delays. In that case, I need to install Realtek drivers to enable the audio mixer. And with the Chiida X99 QD4 motherboard, that's not possible. I tried to install the official Realtek drivers, but for some reason they failed with an ear. After some digging, I have figured out a solution how to manually install drivers and get the full functionality of the Realtek chip. And of course, in the video description, you will find a download link for this solution. A few words about VRM or power delivery system of this Chiida X99 QD4. The motherboard is a clone of Huana GX99 QD4, so the VRMs are identical and the performance is also identical. If you use a Xeon E5 V4, then I would not worry at all, it is pretty much okay with any of the V4 Xeons. But if you have a V3 Xeon and you want to implement Turbo Boost Unlock, then I would strongly recommend to ensure good airflow over the VRM zone and ideally I would use a flower-like CPU cooler so you have direct airflow and direct blow onto the VRM zone and the VRM radiator. All in all, if I combine all pluses and minuses of this Chiyida motherboard, my score would be 6 out of 10 and that's because it has just too many of the standard Chinese issues. Nevertheless, if the price is right, you can still have this motherboard if you need all the connectivity. It has PCI Express X16 X4 slots, two M.2 slots for NVMe SSD drives, M.2 slot for Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapters, quad-channel memory support, and of course, we also have several SATA and USB ports. If the stock BIOS is not good enough for you, then you can use Mi 899 to flush Huanan G modified BIOS with RAM timings, Turbo Boost Unlock and Resizable Bar enabled. And with this I have to say, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was helpful and useful. Bye for now.